Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In smaller classes, we learned about tables, line graphs, and bar graphs. In this lesson, what we learn about is another kind of a graph. It's a circle graph, and we call that a pie chart. All right, so let's see. What we'll do in this lesson is uh, we have this table that has got some data, and we'll use this table to make a pie chart first, and then we'll answer a few questions based on that pie chart. All right. So what have uh, we got here? Well, we have a statement here that reads, a survey of a group of 360 people shows the brand of handphones they use. Well, a handphone is a cell phone or a mobile phone. In uh, Singapore here, we call them handphones. Okay. Now, the results of the survey are presented in the table below. Okay, so in this table, what we have is a few different kinds of brands of handphones and uh, the number of uh, people that use each of the individual brands. So there are 90 people who use the Apple iPhone, 180 people who use Nokia phones, 36 use Blackberry, 45 use other brands of phones, maybe LG or Samsung or something. And uh, there are nine people who do not use any handphones at all. All right, now what we'll do next is we'll make a pie chart using the information that we have in this table. And how do we go about doing that? Well, we said that a pie chart is a circle graph. So we'll start by making a circle. Okay, so let's make a circle first. So here is a circle. All right, now what does the circle mean or what does it stand for? Well, this circle stands for the whole group of 360 people that were surveyed. Okay, so this circle represents 360 people and their choice of handphones. Okay, now how do we mark their choice here? I mean, how do we mark how many Apple iPhone users there were and how many Nokia phone users there were and so on? Well, one way of doing this is to cut up this into 360 slices and then mark 90 as iPhone users, 180 as Nokia users and so on. But uh, that would be too much work, right? We cannot cut up a pie into 360 slices. That would be too many. So the easier way is to take each of these numbers, okay, and find out what portion of the whole group is the iPhone users, what portion of the whole group is Nokia phone users, and so on, okay, which means what fraction of the group is each of these brand users, okay. Now, let's see, how can we do that? Well, we start by finding out the fraction of each of the phone users. So, 90 out of 360 people used Apple iPhone. That would mean 9 times 1 is 9 and 9 times 4 is 36. That would mean a quarter or a fourth of the whole group used the Apple iPhone. Okay, so we put that here. One fourth of the whole group used Apple iPhone. How about Nokia phones? Well, 180 out of 360 people used Nokia phones. That would mean one half of the whole group used Nokia phones. Wow, quite popular. Half of the whole group used Nokia phones. Similarly, Blackberry is quite easy. 36 out of 360, that would mean a tenth of the whole group used Blackberry. How about uh, other brands? Well, 45 out of 360 used other brands of handphones that are not listed here. And uh, what is that equal to? Well, 9 times 5 is 45 and 9 times 4 is 36. So it's 5 over 40. Or if we simplify this further, this is 1 eighth of the whole group. Okay. So an eighth of the whole group used uh, other brands of phones that are not listed here. And 9 out of 360 people didn't use any handphones at all. Well, that's 1 40th of the whole group. Okay, not too many actually. Now, how do we chart this information on this pie? Well, quite simple, like we do with fractions, we cut up the pie into slices, right? So we start with the iPhone users. Okay, let me mark the center of the pie here. So maybe this is about the center of the pie over here. Now, I start by marking a quarter of the whole pie. That means that if I were to cut up this pie into four slices, then 
one out of those four slices would represent the Apple iPhone users, right? So this is about a quarter. Okay, let's put some color into this. Okay, now these are your iPhone users. So we put that, write that down here. iPhone. And that's 90, which is a quarter of the whole pie. Okay, 90 users or 90 people, which is a quarter of the whole pie, is uh, for iPhone users. Okay, now one important thing to note over here is that a slice which is a quarter of the whole pie is marked by a right angle. So in any pie chart, if you see a slice that's marked by this right angle, then that tells you that that slice is a quarter of the whole pie. And why so? Well, that's because a circle has got four quarters, right? And one quarter is equal to 90 degrees and 90 degrees means right angle, right? So right angle is a quarter of the whole pie. All right, now what's next? Well, what's next is Nokia users, there are 180 or half the pie, okay? This is about half the pie, which means if the pie is cut into two slices, then one of those slices is your Nokia phone users, okay? So let's put some color into this. The pink is for Nokia users. Okay, let's write that down here. These are your Nokia users. They are 180 in number and it's half the pie. All right, so that's your Nokia users. How about uh, Blackberry users? Well, one tenth of all the users or the whole group used uh, blackberry so this is about that if i were to cut up this whole pie into 10 slices then about this would be the size of uh, one of those 10 slices right well okay, actually you know you should note that a pie chart is always 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 drawn to scale it's just for this lesson that i'm approximating but they are always drawn to scale okay all right now this is the slice that represents the blackberry users so this is your black users and that's 36 in number or one tenth of the whole pie. Next, all right, next what we have is other brand users and that's one eighth of the whole pie. And that's about this size and these are your other brand users. So others 45 in number and one eighth of the whole pie. Finally, whatever is left is uh, those guys that didn't use any handphone at all. And that's one fortieth of the whole pie. Okay, let's put some color green in this. Okay, and one fortieth of the whole pie, that is whatever is remaining. They didn't use any handphone at all. Nine in number and one fortieth in fraction. That's your pie chart. It has got the same information that this table has got, except that, you know, it's more readable. A pie chart is always more readable. When you see it visually, you can comprehend or understand it better than when you read, like, you know, words in a, in a table. All right, now what do we do with this pie chart? Well, actually, one thing we can do is uh, try to answer some questions based on it. Let's see. Let me bring up uh, those questions one by one. Okay, so first question first, which was the most popular handphone brand explained? Quite easy. Nokia was the most popular handphone brand because it's the biggest pie. It's quite obvious here. All right, that's done. Very easy. Next, what percentage of the group used the Apple iPhone? Okay, the Apple iPhone is here. There are 90 of them that use the Apple iPhone or a quarter of the whole pie. Now, how do we calculate the percentage? Well, one fourth of the whole group, which means one fourth of 100%, because 100% means whole group. So one fourth of 100% means one fourth times 100%. Use the Apple iPhone, and that would mean if we simplify this, this is four times one is four, and four times 25 is 100. So that gives you 25% of the whole group used Apple iPhone. Well, again, another quite popular one. That's done. What's next? Well, what's next is uh, 
How many times as many people used Nokia handphones as compared to those who used Apple iPhone? All right, it's actually quite simple. You know that half the whole pie belongs to Nokia phone users and a quarter of the whole pie belongs to iPhone users. Now, if you divide half by quarter, then you'll know how many times as many people used the Nokia handphones as compared to those who used Apple iPhone. Now, what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to half times four over one. You change division to multiplication and then you flip the second fraction, right? What is that equal to upon simplification? Well, that's equal to two, which tells us that two times as many people used Nokia handphones as compared to those who used Apple iPhone, right? Now, another way is to use these numbers 180 and 90 to find out the uh, answer. So here is how you would do it. So there are 180 Nokia phone users and 90 iPhone users. Okay, so you divide 180 by 90. This zero and that zero get cancelled out. This nine and that 18 get cancelled out and you are left with two. So twice as many people use Nokia phones compared to those that use the Apple iPhone. Okay. Quite simple, you get the same answer whether you use the fractions or whether you use the numbers. All right, I think uh, there's just one more question before we end this lesson. And the question is, what percentage of the people surveyed used BlackBerry? Okay, we know that a tenth of all the people, which means a tenth of 100% people used BlackBerry, which means a tenth times 100% percent use blackberry you simplify this and you get 10 percent so 10 percent of all the people who were surveyed used blackberry that's the answer actually you know again in the same way if you want to use the numbers instead of uh, the fraction you can do that again as well so 36 out of 360 times 100 percent will give you, let's see, the 0 and the 0 cancel out, 36 and 36 cancel out, what you're left with is this 10, 10% 10 again, same answer, 10% of the whole group survey used BlackBerry. So this is just a glimpse of the sort of questions that, you know, you can uh, answer using pie charts. There are uh, so many more, actually, if you want to know what sort and what kind and how, then uh, do go check out the other videos that I have done on uh, word problems that are related to pie charts. All right. For now, this is the end of this lesson. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that now you'll go and solve some problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing up for now. Bye-bye.